Yo, what's good everybody? Finally, finally Nintendo slash uh, the Pokemon company dropped another fucking trailer for Pokemon Scarlet slash Violet, man. It's been a minute since uh, I've seen and actually reacted to the uh, initial review trailer of uh, this new generation. Uh, we gonna check out this trailer. Then afterwards, we're gonna go back through it, uh, break it down, you know, as usually. So, uh, let, let's fucking just dive into this shit, man. Look, I know I am like a couple days late. I think they dropped this trailer on uh, June 1st, so wasn't able to get to it the day it really it, uh, came out. But okay, they got a the fig, got a backpack. Mm. Yo, I'm not gonna lie though, I'm not gonna lie though. Some of the. Graphics are looking kind of spooky, yo. Bruh. Like, I'm I'm still definitely gonna buy this game, but... Yo, I got... Oh, shit! These are the professors. Okay, Tudo and Turo. Oh, they look fire, yo. Oh, yeah, they got, they got a little... Got a little hair flick, dog. Oh, and that's gotta be the rival, right? Gotta be the rival. Okay, some new Pokemon. Nemana. Got a little Pikachu spin off type of shit. If you connect with friends, you can head out on this bed. No way! No fucking way, dog! Yo! They got co op in this bitch, yo! Bro. Let's go! Oh shit, and oh my god. No, that's fire, yo! Like, yo, dog. Co op in the wild area, dog. I mean, I'm not even sure if you can call this a wild area since uh, supposedly the whole game is open world. But... Yo, okay, got the trainer battles. Yo, that's fire, yo. Nah, real shit, dog. Okay, it's got the trading going, Larvitar and uh, La Vegas. Glad they're in the game. Talks about Triogno. We see you, we see you. So they, they got a lot of uh, previous gem Pokemon. I wonder if they, they got all of them in it or we're gonna have another fucking uh, mental breakdown. A co uh, community mental breakdown. Of people complaining and shit. Oh, they did the same exact same thing with Sword and Shield, like little CGI trailer and then into the legendaries. Like they, they're gonna show us the legendaries right now, right? Yes, sir. Oh, what the fuck, yo? That nigga got fucking uh, jet beams from for feet, dog. Yo, that nigga got thrusters as legs. Yo, oh shit. Oh shit, no. Oh yeah, oh no, yo, these these legendaries top of fire. Oh no, they're they're lit dog. Like I'm not sure how I feel about uh the nigga gotta get having uh thrusters for legs. But like upper body wise, this nigga looks cool as shit. Violet. Yo, and the scarlet looks dope as shit too dog. Bro, look at this nigga. Bro. That shit crazy. Okay, and I got a little. I'm assuming this is like a generic type of screen type of, type of clip they show at every fucking trailer for Pokemon. Like this whole uh, glass breaking, glass malforming and the pokeball like no way that has anything to do with the actual game right but either way let's uh let's jump back at the start and uh, actually look at this shit yo like bro i i'm a, i'm gonna mention this now i'm gonna mention this now look look it is 2022 this game is releasing i saw on november 18th which is fucking soon, yo. I'm fucking excited, but bro, we're going into 2023. These type of graphics, uh, 
they real spooky, man. They real spooky for real. They, uh, I would damn near say they not acceptable. Damn near not acceptable. Like, I'm a bitch, so uh, I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna be buying the game anyway, <laughs> no matter how bad the graphics are. But man, I gotta at least mention it, you know, like looking at these bushes, looking at these trees. Like I get it, I get it. The Switch is limited in its uh, capability. But still though, I'm not even sure why Nintendo hasn't released a fucking uh, pro version yet. Yo, we got the Professor Sada. And Turo. No, their designs are amazing, yo. Yo, I, yo, bro, I do wonder though, like if you look at their designs, Sa uh, Sada kind of got the, uh, got the traditional, the past feeling going, you know, with the, the whole tribal feeling with the necklace or clothes, the whole feather, you know, the feather neck shit. And then uh, Tudo got the like uh, futuristic, futuristic joint with the, I guess you would call that shit a damn near an uh, exo suit. So, ooh, I wonder if they're gonna do like a uh, huge difference between the games. Like one game is gonna be uh, more traditional, maybe even set in the past, whereas the other one would be uh, futuristic, set in the future, and more modern with more technology type of shit. I ain't gonna lie, yo. I ain't gonna lie. Sada kind of baddie, dog. She kind of, yo, she a little baddie, yo. Of course, we got the three starters. We already seen them, but uh, it's great seeing them in motion, though. Like, as far as starters go, I have a feeling that the, this little, little pussycat little fella they would, mm, the Pussycat would probably have the uh, most fire final evolution, I would imagine. Like, I think I would fuck heavily with the evolutions of, uh, of the green little, little cat. But if, we own, if we're pur purely going by uh, pre-evolutions, man, Mr. Donald Duck is my nigga right there, man. That's my boy right there, man. How's it though? Hair flick too, man. Let's go. Yo. Yo, the design for the rival is fire too, yo. The, the Pikachu spin off Lemina. Oh yeah, that's definitely the rival look. She's even saying, uh, this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Definitely the rival. She even got the same fit on as uh the player character. Like the same jeans. Not jeans, but uh shorts. Same shirt. Yo, that's gonna be fire, yo. <laughs> Bro. Yo. I, I, I know that, uh, like, I have been feeling kind of iffy on the initial character designs for, for this game. Like, I 100% prefer Sword and Shield's character design over, over, like, the player characters. Hold on, let me go back here. Like Sword and Shield's main characters look a lot better. So when I first saw the initial reveal trailer, the first trailer, I was kind of like very critical on the way they made these characters look. But now seeing the uh, the professors as well as the rival character, man, yo, I got hope again. Like, like, like it's just the player characters that that are making me kind of. Eh. Uh, fitty fitty but as far as all the characters go they look fucking great bro look at her though fire okay we got the yo yo the co-op so f yo finally man oh and it actually seems like you can explore the uh the wild area which again i'm it's not going to be a wild area, it's actually going to be open world, like the entire game is going to be open world. But, yo, this is so dope! Because it seems like you can explore this shit uh, with four friends, but you can also split your ways and uh, 
go about that shit individually. Top shit. Yo, that's so. Yo, let's fucking go. Yo, no. Oh, this this is like a low key, low key. This is like some type of shit you would dream about when you're a child and you're playing Emerald or you're playing fucking Leaf Green or Diamond and Pearl. You're like, yo, I wish we could play online, yo. I wish you and me could just uh, walk through the world together, catching Pokemon. You would like talk with your friends like that, you know. And now it's yo, now it's true, man. Now it's here. Like I said, a lot of uh, a lot of new, but as well, uh, they are also showing the old Pokemon, which uh, they did for Sword and Shield too, in like their uh, their trailers. Like they're showing the environments through like old Pokemon and shit. The chunk, the chunk, bruh, no, come on, yo, yo, I do be fucking with the UI though. Now the user interface looks great. That shit looks clean, simple, to the fucking point. Oh, that shit is fire. I'm not sure what these uh, 90 degree bars are in the corners. I wonder if it's like in how we, uh, how Sword and Shield had like the, uh, the camera during gym battles, uh, where you kind of saw things from the perspective of uh, like a camera filming the battle. I wonder if that's kind of the same thing that they got going on here, or if it's just an uh, artistic design choice. Either way though, I do be fucking with the uh, UI. I like my UIs, my user interfaces. Clean, simple, not cluttered. And it does mean that uh, we're still having a uh, turn-based system. I do wonder if... Uh, the battle system is going to take some things from uh, Legend of Arceus. Like, that's a big question. And I do also wonder what the fuck these... I assume these are like Pokemon Marts. Because they got like the Wingo here and like... I think that's a shoe. Like advertising a shoe. Like probably a uh, Marked. Uh, the blue one is of, uh, a store. And you got the Pokemon Center. And then you got the green little thingy which... I'm not sure what the hell that would be, but uh, man, we 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 will have to see. We'll have to see. It's trading wouldn't be a Pokemon game without some trading. Hmm. Oh, they, they, they do got a lot of different areas though. We got the snow area, got the beaches, the the caves. Of course, the grassy areas too. Oh, I wonder if these are uh, gyms, like uh, the windmill with the like the, the battle area. Or the little, uh, I'm not sure what those flags are supposed to be, but and you got the tower. Those are probably going to be the like the gym battles, if this game even has gym battles. Mm, 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 mm. Yo, no, that's on fire, yo. Oh, I kind of wanna. So I'm kind of wondering if, like, it's kind of hard for me to tell if uh, this was done in the middle of a battle. But I wonder if they're going to be adding Legends of Arceus's uh, catching mechanics where you're uh, to this game because the catching mechanics in Legends of Arceus were amazing, yo. They made catching Pokemon's a lot easier, which. Uh, Kind of goes against the idea too, but yo, I can't say I, I can't say I dislike it though. I can't say I dislike it, yo. I really hope that they uh, added at least something similar to this game. Uh, the battles. Fire! Alright, let's go back to the uh, yeah, not actual game footage. We know, we can tell though. Yeah, no. Like even the legendaries got like the uh, traditional. Hold on, let me uh, get a full, full view. Like even they got like the uh, like 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 the, like the violet legendary is like a jet with thrusters and jet engines, dog. 
and this is more like a traditional lizard dragon type of uh type of pokemon yo that's yo i really hope like it's probably not going to be the case but a man can dream i really hope that they are going to have some massive differences between the two games because if they do hey man you know your boys probably gonna have to cop both of those games dog probably gonna have to cop both if they don't then i'm probably gonna go for scarlet and then uh I'm uh, my body is probably going to get uh, violet and then we'll just create second saves and a trade across the legendaries and the uh, exclusive pokemons you know for each ver version so either way man yeah yo, yo, a man can dream a man can dream I'm still like I said I'm still I'm still not sold on the uh, the tr fucking trusters for lax they kind of in my opinion ruin ruin uh dude's design but like if you would draw a line slightly above the thrusters everything above that line is like fucking fire though got the little electricity like 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 sprouting from his face and from his tail i saw yo, yo look at yo both of them are fire for real though yo Fucking amazing, gorgeous design, yo. November 18th, man. That shit closed and a motherfucker. That shit closed and a bitch, yo. Bruh. Oh, this shit is fire. This shit is heat. This shit is heat. Yo, no, I can't wait, dog. I can't wait. Turo and Sada. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Also, as far as starters go, um, this is definitely one of those gens where I have to see the uh, final evolution before I make a decision. Like for Sword and Shield, I was actually able to choose Score Bunny because. Uh, I like that little fella, man. Score Bunny, just from the start, was already my favorite fucking uh, starter. And then he, then even his uh, evolutions were like the best out of uh, all three starters. So, at least in my opinion, you know, yo, fight me for it. Fight me, nigga. <laughs> hey, man. That's the second trailer, though. For real, for real. Hope, yo are fucking with the game as much as i am well, i'm gonna mention it one more time game freak gotta step up yo they gotta they gotta tighten up when it comes to these graphics dog and they gotta do a little better a little better than that a little better than that otherwise i'm excited i'm hot if you're watching this i appreciate you man i'm gonna catch y'all next man we're gonna stay uh we're gonna stay focused. We're gonna stay uh, up to date with the Pokemon news. So, uh, if anything crazy releases, expect another video. So, I'm gonna catch y'all later, man. Peace.